Like, this is the kind of stuff that I look for in libraries, because it's so unique. I've never heard anything like this before. It's going to give instant inspiration when I'm in a scene. Hey, everybody. My name is Matt Yoakum. I'm a supervising sound editor and sound designer here in Los Angeles, California. I work on feature films here at the different studios as a freelancer. Um, I've worked on Cloverfield Paradox, Pet Cemetery, Lego 2, uh, Pokemon, Detective Pikachu, um, so various feature films around town. Um, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the new library, King Collection Volume 1, uh, which is a private curated library from Richard King, curated by Pro Sound Effects. It's a really fantastic general library. It's going to be a great addition to any of your collections. Um, it's got some really great variety in there, lots of uh, really natural sounds that fit right into the scene. Um, I'm going to walk you through just a couple of the favorites that I found, um, and let's just get right into it. So uh, first of all, I'm going to be using this search library tool that Pro Sound Effects has come up with. It's really handy. I really love how it categorizes everything right here on the side for you, so whatever you're looking for, you can easily find it. It's just alphabetical here. Um, and then, of course, you've got your search functions. Um, and all the metadata has been really well done for this library uh, laid out right in front of us. So it's really easy to find what we're looking for quickly. Um, personally, I really love ambient sounds in libraries. So I'm going to show you some of these because um, it really helps to create the sort of immersive environment that we're looking for in a film. A really great recording in the forest there with that fly that buzzes by so close. It feels really awesome. I do some of these uh, cornfield recordings here, show them to you. really love these multi-channel recordings because you've got the different mic angles to choose from uh, even if you just wanted to bring them out as stereo pairs to adjust in the mix or if you're using multi-channel tracks um, but I really love having the option I mean they're just such clean recordings I really love these rural and suburban ones that he's gotten here um, some really beautiful bugs Yeah, like they're just so pleasant. Like I can't wait to use these, honestly. They're just really, really awesome. I mean, they're really isolated. There's not a ton of noise floor. It's just, they're gonna fit really easily into a scene, very naturally. That's just a few of those. A lot of these suburban ones are really great because in the neighborhoods, you've got children playing in the background. So that's going to help your environment to just instantly feel more alive and more natural. That's really great to have that. Um, he's got lots of really great Walla um, in, in this library, tons of textures. Um, he's got some really great like crashes. They did a ton of stuff with this big forklift that they were dropping all kinds of materials off of, including cars. I'm going to play just a couple of those for you. really love these because they're not super noisy. Um, in fact, they almost feel soft and sort of rounded, but they've got the really nice movement and texture in there, which is perfect for design. Here's some dragging the car. Let's try another one real quick. That stuff is just great. It's just, it just sounds so natural. It's got some natural reverb on it. It's not overly isolated. It's gonna just fit super naturally into a scene without a ton of uh, post-processing on it. That one's super present and up close. That's great. All right, let me take you through a couple more categories really fast. So he's got these scissor zaps, which are awesome. Just play a couple of these. These have great design possibilities behind them. I 
have no idea how he made or recorded these. But I'm definitely going to be using them. Those are awesome. They have potential for like magic, electricity, uh, even computer UI stuff, computer glitch stuff. It's really awesome. Looking forward to those. One of the coolest recordings on here are these big cables. I think it's just cables. Ooh, where are they? Stretch. All right, here we go. It's these big cable stretches. These are wild recordings. Like this is the kind of stuff that I look for in libraries because it's so unique. I've never heard anything like this before. It's going to give instant inspiration when I'm in a scene looking for cool material. Just so, such interesting textures. I mean, that's the kind of stuff that you really, that, I mean, that's, those are like the golden nuggets that you find in this stuff that just are so great. Um, just a couple more here. Subwoofer. He's got these really awesome subwoofer tones. They recorded in multi-channel that are great. Those are great. Could easily see these being used in like a spaceship or an energy field. Lots of really rich low end. Again, you don't need to do a lot of post processing to these. And the last thing I'm going to show you guys are uh, the extensive amount of vehicles that he's got in here. He's got a lot of really interesting and unique vehicles, which are great. It's workups that I don't normally see in any other libraries. He's got two different kinds of buses, which are super well recorded. Um, some golf carts. He's got a mine cart in here, which is really crazy and awesome. A uh, great recording set workup uh, of this Chevy Camaro. Um, uh, let's see here. He's got uh, recordings of the forklift, which are great. A military tank in here, and one of my favorite parts of this library, um, besides the Indy cars, which also sounds super huge and awesome, uh, are the car skids that he's got. Uh, these are super isolated, which is really wonderful because there's always so much engine in any of these car skids that you try to find, which usually negates the possibility for using them, um, especially if you're using a totally different type of vehicle. But these are so clean and isolated. Awesome. Definitely going to be using those. Um, and that's just a couple of the things that he's got in this library. I mean, you know, take the time to look through it. I've basically just been walking you through, you know, the past six or seven minutes of it. Um, but there's a ton of exploring to be done. I can't wait to dive deeper into this library. I know we're all going to find a lot of use in it. Um, thank you to Pro Sound Effects for curating this. Thank you to Richard King for opening up his collection to everybody. Uh, this is a super great opportunity to get your hands on a fresh palette of sounds, and I hope it brings a lot of uh, inspiration and creative ideas out of all of us.